Well, hello, friends. Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on the morning of day seven, and boy, do we have an exciting day ahead of us. First things first, let's get our chemistry station put down. Right there is where it's going to live, and this is going to give us access to a whole bunch of good stuff that we can craft, much like our workbench. Uh, the most important thing being gunpowder and oil. These are the two main things we're going to be making, and a much cheaper recipe for glue. Uh, so we'll be able to craft glue in bulk. Other than that, I remembered we got our drum magazine mod schematic, and I would like to get one of these crafted. We can pop this in our AK for now, as we're going to be using this for the at least the next couple episodes. And eventually, once we get our auto shotgun, we'll be able to put it on the auto shotgun, so it'll be a worthwhile investment. 20 steel is a lot, and we are just a few shy, sitting at 14. So we're going to try and wrench some street lamps. Street lights today? Street lamps? We're going to try and get some steel today, so we can get one of those crafted. Other than that, uh, we need to get some cement mix crafting, but to do that we need some more crushed sand. So let's go for 1500 once we get back from looting our quest right over there. Uh, this should all be done, and we can get about 1,500 concrete moving. And with that, we should be able to at least reinforce a couple layers of our base here. Um, over the course of the night while I was digging down below us in the mine, uh, nothing too interesting happened, just working my way through the stone still. But I did put one point into Motherload, which is basically just going to give us more resources as we harvest. And of course, the most important thing being that we're going to get our motorcycle today. So we are almost there. We have got just about enough coin to head over to Jens and pick it up. We are just going to go do this one last quest. And between the flat coin quest reward and whatever else we find there that we can sell, I'm feeling very, very confident that we are going to be able to get our motorcycle today. We can roll up to Dyersville just for the hell of it, wrench some street lights up there, and the world is now our oyster. And also much safer to traverse in the open world because with a motorcycle, zombies can't catch you. Oh, it's going to be so great. All right, we are here. Uh, before I go ahead and clear up the outside, let's go ahead and start the quest because, as I've said before, I am not crazy about double looting. So let's not pick that stuff up and then reset it. Let's just reset it and then pick that stuff up. So I'm going to run around the house, clean up all this stuff, and then we'll get inside and get going. Alright, let's start heading inside, see what there is to find. And we've already started off pretty strong. We found two painkillers, which are always useful. They are, of course, the seven days to die health potions. And it doesn't look like anybody's going to be bothering us down here. Which is a little surprising, but hey, I ain't one to argue with a good thing. Ooh, level 2 wrench. Let's see if that is an upgrade for us. That's looking like 41 block damage. Let's pop the modifier out of this. Nope, that is not going to be an upgrade. It would have significantly more durability because it's a higher level, but its block damage is lower, and I care more about block damage than anything else. Uh, let's go ahead and check the last of these kitchen appliances. Who needs two trash compactors? You know, that's... These are the questions. This is why I'm here. Like, is one not enough for you? I don't get it. And another painkiller. We are just swimming in drugs today. You gotta love it. Let's get all these appliance rent appliances wrenched apart from the mechanical parts and go from there. And there is a cheeky little plug right down here that I only ever noticed because the satchel that you have to loot sometimes will spawn in that plug. Yeah, fun fact, this POI, little plug right there. Yeah, we're learning stuff together. Alright, no game changers down here, but we did, you know, we found some sellable stuff. So let's just poke our head up here, and I want to say there's a dog that spawns up here sometimes. Maybe maybe I'm thinking, I must be thinking of a different place. This does not look like what I was picturing in my head. Is that a plug right there? What is happening? Yeah, that is a plug. Let's see what's in the backpack. More painkillers. Man. 
starting to feel bad for the person that used to live here. Uh, fuck your flickering lights. Let me take this apart real quick. Still no zombies. That didn't wake anybody up. I'm a little surprised. Let's pop into the bathroom real quick. Vitamins. Stuff. More stuff. Anything in the sink? Oh, two acid. That's actually very nice. Let's just take this fixture apart. I just want to make extra, extra sure that we have enough point to pick up the motorcycle. Oh god, somebody woke up. Let's just close that door real quick. About time. I was starting to get worried that this place was empty. Hello? Right, let's just pop this garbage out of the way. Throw a frame down. Deal with old Kenny here. Hi, buddy. Sorry about this. I mean, not really. I'm almost positive we're going to have a friend in there. So let's just get back here, crouch down. See if we can get a sneaky, sneaky boy shot. Nice, Sue. What are you doing? Where are you going? That was a great jump. 10 out of 10. Here's the satchel. Unfortunately, we've got to ditch some stuff. We are just too encumbered right now. I'd rather keep the blunderbuss ammo. Uh, we can get rid of the brass. Four bones really isn't worth it. I do like that honey. I kind of want to keep that. You're sitting on so many iron pipes. We might as well just break those down into the iron. We'll eat one of these food things. That'll keep us nice and topped off. Scrap the can. And that opens us up a bit. That's good enough for right now. Let's keep moving forward. Wrench apart these beds for the springs, as always. Oh, cool. We got the double barrel shotgun schematic. I think I'm actually going to sell that because we will have a pump shotgun available to us soon. Oh, we woke somebody up upstairs. Let's uh, back up. Let's see where they're coming from. Um... All right, I'm a little confused. Where are they? Bust a hole in the wall and see if we can discern anything from that. Hi, bud. Just kneecap this guy until he stops being a problem. At this point, we have to pop outside. And there's definitely a vulture. I think I'm just going to bust out the AK for this. There we go. No sense in dealing with him if we don't have to, I suppose. Uh, so where are we going from here? This is the room where we just killed that dude. See if we got anything up here and then pop up into the attic. I think I'm going to knock this other block out. Just because something tells me I'm going to want to make a speedy retreat for that bathroom door over there. I think there's three flamey boys. Oh, <laughs> three flamey boys in this POI upstairs if my memory serves me correctly. Oh, you know what? This is a level three. We actually have an extra spot. Awesome, that just opened up three inventory slots. That is fantastic, both in general and for this exact moment. Did you guys just wake up? Yes, you did. Just one? If it's just one, I'll just deal with one, but if they all come at the same time, that is a horse of a different color. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get in the bathroom. Deal with them the easy way. All right, they've been dealt with. Let's see what kind of goodies we've got up here. Ooh, we got a nice ammo pile over here. A bunch of 7.62 and some shotgun shells. That's fantastic. Let's uh sneak around here and... Oh, yeah. Weapons bag. Let's go. Level 4 blunderbuss. We can sell that. More ammo we can use. We got double shotgun messiah crate plus the main loot. And I do still have my lucky looter goggles on, which is good. More 762. Some pipe bombs. We can try those out tonight. And now that we have our workbenches up, we can actually start crafting those. Because we did find the recipe back in like episode 2 or 3. And a bunch of parts that we can sell. Nothing I'm super interested in, but the coin, that's just fine. A level 5 helmet upgrade. That can hold some more mod slots, which is really good. 
Machete parts we can sell, ammo we can sell. Let's just scrap this for the iron since we're pretty overloaded at the moment. Awesome. Let me do a little bit of in inventory management and then we'll uh, head back to the house and head over to Jens to pick up our motorcycle. And before we head out, let's go ahead and get some of that concrete mixing. So we have 1,500 sand. So if we can get... That's close enough. 1,500 concrete. Let's go, dude. That's going to give us a whole bunch to work with. We should be able to reinforce a lot of the base. And we have our Grandpa's Awesome Sauce with us. Let's get over to Jens. And, and, and. Oh, I'm so glad I remembered. Let's grab our gasoline so we have something to put in the damn thing when we buy it. Oh, this is the last time we're going to have to do this slow-ass encumbered walk over to Jen's. <sighs> I love, I love vehicle day. So we should be good without sugar butts, but if we do find some sugar butts, excellent here. That is going to save us some money. And that's actually a lot of food. I'd like to buy all that. We're getting low on food, but let's, uh, let's get in here. Hello, traveler. What's ailing you? And these are sugar butts. And our grandpa's awesome sauce. So we get a 10% bartering, plus 10% bartering from the sugar butts, 20% from the awesome sauce, plus the 10% from the cigar that we have equipped. So that's 40%. I knew you had it in you. Good work. Ooh, 127.62. Thank you. Let's go. So let's uh, pick up a quest real quick. I mean, I guess we could do one more buried supplies. Everything else is super far away. Not that that's a problem for us anymore. But let's quickly go through and sell all this stuff. So we are up to 14k. And a motorcycle by default is 20k. So 40 if you take 40% off of that from all of the reductions that we have stacked right now, that takes us down to 12k. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to try and split these stacks. Um, how's the best way to do this? This is kind of awkward. I want to take 400 out of there. Closer. Uh, there we go. I don't know if that was the easiest way to do that. But I ain't about to waste any of this coin that I worked so hard to get. I want to throw exactly 12k on the ground. I did try and use the command prompt window to give a Jen a motorcycle just so we could straight up buy one. I'm a um, but it didn't work. She won't actually uh, allow it for some reason. So let's just spawn one in for ourselves. Motorcycle. Why am I not seeing it? Because it's red for some reason. All right, so we got 1,200 or 12K on the ground. We got a motorcycle in our inventory. We still have those buffs active for a minute. So let's try and decide what we want to buy. I was able to give her thought the nail gun and the pump shotgun schematic which was the other two things so why don't we buy those while we still have these buffs active so that's all of our coin we're completely broke but we have bought those three items that we promised to ourselves at the beginning of the game and let's just take some time to look through her inventory see what else we're going to be trying to buy this week Ooh, level one steel chest armor uh, this will definitely pick up. It'll probably just end up getting scrapped for parts sooner than later, but I like to have steel armor parts uh, because we are going to be uh, specking into heavy armor, so eventually once we find the recipe, I would like to craft a full set of level 5 steel armor. This is all the stuff we sold her. And then the secret stash, we got custom fittings, that's awesome. Another one of these is really, really good. We got plus 10% damage to bears. I might pick that up. Bears are really hard to kill, and that'll help. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we got the steel armor schematic. That is sick. That is super sick. Um, We won't be able to use this for a long time, because uh, we're going to have to stack up a bunch of steel and steel armor parts. But uh, having this is great. And that is the shotgun parts that we need. If we can, I'll probably buy all four of these just to be on the safe side. 
but I think we need five shotgun parts to craft a level one sh pump shotgun. And we have the schematic now. So we've got a lot of really excellent stuff. I'll probably pick up this other structural brace mod and just throw it into something. Now that was a good deal. So we got a lot of goodies to buy. I'm a doctor. And let's get outside and put this motorcycle on the ground and just go riding somewhere. Let's take her up to Dyersville, wrench some street lights up there. There we go. Oh, yes. Gas this baby up. And let's go. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Ah, oh, that's nice. Oh, I see a street light over here. With this working stiff tools. We need to finish looting this place at some point. We did start. It's just a... Uh... Oh, hi. <laughs> Look at those sleepy guys. They shouldn't be able... Actually, she might be able to bother us. But I'm not going to stress it. Let's just get this wrenched. Even if things do go south, we can just hop on our motorcycle and ride away from our problems. Which is why it is so good to have. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Get out of here. <laughs> you know what? We've got enough time. I think we're just going to raid this working stiff tools for the day. Um, it's a really good POI and we're at a good game stage now where it is worthwhile to loot this place. And uh, kind of bugs my OCD that and just leaving it half looted like it is. But we'll also make sure to get that little bit of forged steel we need. There's one craft our drum magazine mod and these street lights they're very inconsistent you can get as many as three as far as I've seen and as few as zero uh, and there's also various ways to up the amount of salvage that you get with perks and candy so you know if you're really really hard up for steel there are things that you can do to make it happen I wonder if these guys respawned yet hello Hey, they didn't. Let's go ahead and dig up all this cement as we are now at the cement crafting stage of the game. And you know what? Before we do that, we actually have a skill point. Why don't we throw that into mother load and get a little bit more cement? I really like to max out 5 out of 5 mother load and minor 69er like every playthrough. I mean, it doesn't give you any offensive capability, but it allows you to mine so, so effectively and like chop... You know, it saves you so much time chopping down trees, digging in your mine, digging up cobblestone and cement and all this stuff. I just think it's... Once you have it, <laughs> once you've experienced 5 out of 5 in both of those perks, you really can't go back. It's just so nice, the quality of life. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the... Uh motorcycles storage inventory yet so not only can we throw a whole bunch of stuff in here almost doubling our effective inventory but even if i am fully encumbered all the way up to the gills it doesn't matter because you're on top of a motorcycle the motorcycle doesn't care if you're encumbered it still moves at the regular movement speed uh, so we went ahead and dug up everything in the garden department let's go ahead and loot this place I'm not sure how many we're going to get here, so we're going to play this a little bit on the safe side. Could have sworn I heard somebody wake up. I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Let's just get into it. Oh, there she is. God damn it. You sneaky girl. Oh, shiza. All right. Let's, uh... Get up here. Oh, <laughs> you sneaky girls. Uh, we are still in danger because there is three of them, and it's... Very plausible that they will jump on each other's shoulders. They like to do that. I mean, go figure, there's a cheerleader among them. But even if they do, we have our AK. I am not worried. We're getting a bunch of repair kits all the way back up to 22. 
And, you know, we could scrap all of this stuff for mechanical parts, but now that we've kind of got the basics, I'm not feeling so pressured to make a lot of money. At this point, I'm just gonna start wrenching the really high-value stuff, like beds for springs and stuff like that. Just so we can get through these places a little bit quicker, because... Uh, yeah, at this point, there's just not as much pressure to have a lot of coin now that we have gotten all the stuff that we want. Oh, there's a purse up there. I never noticed that before. There's always more things to find in this game, which is one of the things that I love about it. Hey, we also have a working vending machine. Um, I don't have any coin on me, which is kind of a bummer. I would have picked up some of those sugar butts. Duct tape? Yeah, I'll take a little duct tape. We should have a lot of friends out here. Although we did wake them up earlier. I'm wondering if that had some kind of effect. Nope. I hear him. Let's get back inside. Use the old frame block trick. Hi, friends. Oh, yeah, there's four of you. That is a substantial amount of friends. Let's try and upgrade this. Oh god. <laughs> How did you get in here, you sneaky cheeky fucker? And ah, I think there's even one more out there. Six zombies. That's quite a lot for one little area in a POI, but hey. That just makes it more fun, right? Gosh, why does there have to be so much good stuff? It's getting later in the day. We need to go fast. Ah, oh, iron armor schematic. That's kind of cool. I think we'll just sell that, though. All right, we are running out of time. So I think we're probably just kind of use the AK here a little bit more than I would like. To get through this in a reasonable time frame. That's working perfectly. God, I really love this AK. If I recall, there's a plug over here that sometimes has a weapons bag in it. Let's bust into there real quick. And then we've just got the main loot left in front of us. Come on, big money, big money. Level 6 stone spear. Meh. I don't use spears. Bunch of working stiff tool crates. Ah, oh, level six shovel. That's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and scrap. You don't, you don't even need to scrap it. Let's just throw that out. Oh, level six stone axe. That's awesome. And finally, what is in the box? We have got a metal spikes mod, which is awesome. We've got a crossbow that can replace our bow. Gosh, my scrapping inventory is full. I just need to throw some of this stuff out, and we need to get moving. We do not have time for this. All right. Uh, oh, all right, we're out. Let's get on our motorcycle. We are super encumbered. And get the hell home, because we are about to have a zombie horde on our doorstep. Boop. Oh my god, we got home so quickly. you love to see it. Alright, let's... Whoa! Uh, let's have the game lag out and mess up my fishtail. I was trying to look cool there, game. Fuck you. They're here. I almost got organized. Um, oh god, we're hungry too. I hate fighting the clock, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's go ahead and eat some of these bacon and eggs. Let's munch down a little bit more food because we are going to get hungry soon. And we now have our nail gun, which is going to be able to repair much more efficiently if we have the materials on us. So let's grab our cobble and our iron. And that's going to now repair much, much faster. Let's also get out these explosives that we picked up today. Put those on the bar. 
And let's start off with uh, some of these Molotovs. Nope. We got a right-click delight. Let's see how that does. <laughs> Whoa. Did that actually kill? That killed. That's awesome. That did more damage than I was expecting. And uh, I went ahead and threw that spike mod that we picked up onto our club. That's going to reduce the zombie's armor by, I want to say, 20% with each hit. So it kind of puts a stacking debuff on them, which is pretty cool. Let's try another one of these explosives. That's just too cool. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Oh my god. Maybe we're going to spec into Demolitions Expert. Like, I've used pipe bombs before, but I don't remember them being this impactful. I love it. This is a great combination. Melee and explosives. Maybe we'll do a, a no-guns playthrough at some point in the future. Oh, that's going to take some getting used to. you got to right-click to light and then hold left-click to throw. For some reason, my brain tells me it should be the other way around. We're sitting on a lot of AK ammo. Why don't we just soften these boys up a little bit? We can go through one clip. That's not a big deal. Hey, we got our first dog. All right, let's see if it can get past the door. It looks like it did try to jump there. Tried to jump there again. I think our method for deterring dogs is gonna work just fine. Oh, I totally forgot about our blunderbuss. I was so distracted with these Awesome new explosives we're playing with. I feel like we're finally getting down to the end. Let's just bash a few more heads. And go see what there is to loot. Beautiful. You know, I really should have had my nerdy glasses on that whole time, but that's okay. Uh, as I've said before... Experience is kind of a double-edged sword. These hordes are getting so large because we are leveling up a lot. And we've got a shit ton of loot bags out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine loot bags. Oh, baby. I really wish I would have bought some eye candy. This would be uh, eye candy increases your the, the yield of your loot for like 10 minutes. Um, and these are the kind of knights... When this many loot bags drop, what you want to save that for. But that's okay, it's not a big deal either way. Another level 6 bow. And we just picked up some steel, which reminds me. Let's do 10% more damage when using a scope. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Uh, which reminds me, we wanted to craft that drum magazine mod, and I didn't have enough time to get enough steel. More steel there, that's fantastic. We're actually not going to burn through all of it. So let's come over to mods. We need a little bit of plastic, oil, and mechanical parts. Let's grab those real quick. Got the rest of our steel. There we go. We got a drum magazine mod coming up in about five minutes. So we'll have that in the AK moving forward. And eventually that will move into our auto shotgun when we find one of those. And yeah, we got some nice upgrades today. We went up to a level six shovel which ideally we want to replace our stone shovel as soon as possible. But the stone axes, I actually really like stone axes because they're like a multi-tool. 
they can repair and upgrade and function as an axe, you know, being good against wood. So, you know, I, I see a lot of people replace them and they go with like a, like a fireman's axe and a claw hammer. But it's like, I don't want to carry around two tools when I have one tool that can do the job just fine. So why don't I get all this loot organized and think about what we're going to do next. Let's go ahead and throw this structural brace mod on our axe. That's going to increase its block damage a little bit and, of course, improve its durability, which is a good thing. We've got a bunch of concrete in here, so we can go ahead and do some upgrading to the base. And I am noticing that we are getting very, very low on food. Uh, very, very low. So I think I know what POY we're going to raid tomorrow. There's a place called Bob's Boars over by... If you remember that lake house we went and looted uh, back in episode 4, I think it was? You can just see the edge of what I believe is a farmhouse right here. And on the other side of the street, there's a place called Bob's Boars in Carl's Corn. It's a really big POI. Uh, one of the coolest ones I think they ever des designed because it has kind of a boss at the end. And there, it, the place is just packed to the gills with little pigs, you know, boars. They're dangerous. They're not, I shouldn't say they're little pigs. They're boars. Uh, but we're going to kill all of those, chop them all up for meat. We'll get a ton of meat out of that place. And is there anything else we want to do? I would like to get some gunpowder moving so we could make some more of those pipe bombs. Let's go over to materials. To make gunpowder, we combine coal with nitrate powder. And we haven't actually gone out of our way to mine any of this stuff yet. This is just some that we've managed to pick up. So that's going to make 72 gunpowder. And those pipe bombs... What did they take? 12? 12? Yes, yeah, so we can make like know, 5 or 6. Bad at math. <laughs> um, pipe bombs for tomorrow night's horde. That'll be pretty sweet. And I don't think there's anything else except maybe some skill points. Uh, but I'm going to want to think about what I'm going to put these into, so we'll talk about that at the start of the next episode. But I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I love your faces. I'll see you here next time. Bye.